between Spider and Centipede. Eight is an acceptable so number. Nine, you get to the, the other thing. Many. Can you get an odd numbers? Is that acceptable? <laughs> like a three one or three I things? Mean, either of those acceptable? You can by five. accident. <laughs> I would like I'm talking to about by by design. And speaking of by design, both teams going for Hanzo May here, Arissa. No hog on the defense. Actually, it's uh, usually you see the diva on the offense for rotations, but Gagora is feeling it today. And like we said, unsurprisingly, we've got the Batiste, we've got the Hanzo, we've got the Maeve. It's actually exactly mirrored, and it is also exactly telling, getting the better end of that mirror matchup right now. Out fragging, even getting the one-to-one -one kill from Mango Jai over to in, and even confirms the kill onto a Ting there for star points. And what you need to be looking here, speaking of style, is that Talon need to be pushing up quite aggressively. They don't have a Roadhog. They cannot be waiting for Hulk Hulk combos. That's what Nova MS can be doing instead. Nova MS don't have to wait as long for rotations because there's not going to be the same level of damage threat when there's no hook coming through. Now Nova need to switch up gears as well. They need to be the team playing a little bit more defensively, waiting for the combos, and Talon need to be aggressive. Speaking of defensively, I do like what the defense matrix brings here for Talon. How about oh. the offense matrix? Yeah, not exactly, right? And, and, and part of it is that you can block a little bit of the damage that comes out from that for one thing, and now they've not really got much value out from that ultimate for Red Fox. Kerberos does find his counterpart in Patapan, though, but Abudo more than happy to avenge his brethren. That Let's see. Handily time transcenders there from Mango Jaya. Could have got a little bit hairy otherwise. Picking Frozen up. If they could finish picking off, that would be really big for them, but not quite able to. And now both teams really in for a penny, in for a pound here, or in for a piggy perhaps. Turn that one to Bacon in and goes down as well. And that was right when Nova MS went. You know, we've got transcendence during this blizzard. We can stay in this one. Unfortunately, though, the answer is not the case. Such a clutch ice wall coming through from Apudo as well to protect teammates, stopping the hook from completing the pull. And then Talon securing that one. Transcendence into a blizzard, just walking forward again, being aggressive here, taking the fight to Nova MS is ideal for what Talon are running. So far, that's been successful. So far, two minutes and 10 seconds have been taken off that timer. Nova do come in with a lot of ultimates, so this should be a good fight. Oh, play. that's a really rough one, losing the blizzard. That's one of your bigger tools here. Gagora does get D-Mech, but can use the self-destruct to preserve it. Has to be blocked by an ice wall, but unfortunately you can't block the dragon strike. And they're not in the immortality field. That's what boggles my mind. They had that up, they stepped backwards out of it and end up right in the path of the dragon strike. That is an unmitigated disaster for Nova MS. I'll be honest, the other thing uh, is when the ice wall comes up, if you haven't really seen the direction of the dragon strike yet, it can catch you by no surprise idea. because it comes to the wall, you're like, whoa, it's on me right now. So that's something that uh, Nova needs to be careful of. And yeah, definitely the immortality field, bit of a thinker right there. Talon though, bit still looking fa right. fantastic. Three minutes nearly off that clock. Ultimates have been reasonably balanced by now on both sides. UQB gets the opportunity to drop that matrix down, and he does. Kerberos really wants an opportunity to get a fat dragon strike like that. He saw what Patapan did, and he's like, hey, hold my sake, but I don't know if it's really gonna work out that way with Patapan still fragging out here. Nova. Nothing's going to come out of this fight, sadly. Kerberos going to go down very late as well. 40 seconds now and counting down. It's looking like we're going to have another false hold. Like That's what the other we thing. Volskaya. How dominant can Talon really make this series? If it's going to be a 3-0, and zero, is this going to be the type of 3-0 where Nova don't get to see any other part of the map other than the A point, including Volskaya? I mean, that would make up for not quite accomplishing the perfect season in a way, right? Is to have that sort of golden series where your opponent scores zero points, not even a percentage tick on any of these points. That includes control, but there's that dragon strike out both ways here. Double dragon amplification matrix as well. Ice ball blocks up a lot of that, and it was on the other side between the two, so they couldn't even use the amplification matrix to destroy the ice wall. And now the kills are just racking up for Talon Patapad. The only casualty there, no one on the point. Again, not a single percentage tick. Look, if this goes to a draw, the map gets ignored. That's the saving grace for Nova MS. They're not out of it yet, but with only one third required to cap for Talon, Nova MS are as good as done. And now it becomes the time where you have to start thinking about that one map again versus Jupiter. It's, it's, hard, to, it's hard to keep going back there, but it's like if they 3-0 this, they go to the grand finals and that's a 4-0. and zero. They actually could have done the entire season without dropping each Perfect season, map. including playoffs, would just be... Unbelievable. At this point, it's a, definitely a could have instead of an actual yeah. reality. But they, look, they can still make the playoffs happen here. This can still be about as good as you can get with what they've got remaining. And what they've got remaining is still 
a fat championship and a free trip to the gauntlet waiting yeah. for them. So I'll tell you what, play for. losing only one map the entire season, including playoffs, is still a monumental achievement. It's not quite one that you write into the record books, but in terms of the accomplishment of the team and demonstrating their dominance, I mean, it speaks for itself, right? Like that's something that not even Ardient was able to accomplish in their time of dominance in the Pacific region. And that was a long time ago as well. Many champions have come and gone in that time. And it's only been this particular season for talent that we've seen a team emerge once again that feels just that far above the rest. And now it's gonna be Nova MS attempting the biggest defense of the entire season for them. Tournament life on the line semi-finals here could be ended today on this particular point in this particular map or it could be the start of something great for them but it'll be a long journey that begins with a single step look we moved the goalpost pretty far back for nova ms as well on volskaya we said at least talent didn't cap in the first push but if they do it here it could be all a very different kind of thing in and already low red fox gonna go Still. down this is not a good start for Nova MS. And in trouble as well. That could be a second player. There'll be two supports. And that will be oh, oh, of Nova. Oh, my goodness. And it just explodes all at once, right? As Patapan's getting low, he starts getting healed up. Fail. They do it in one push. Not a single point across the maps. Not a single percentage point on control or Volskaya or now on Hollywood. That is easily, by far and wide, the most dominant win I have ever seen in this region's playoffs of all time. And the goalpost this time around, I think it was just right in front of you. It Can't move like, it any further back. <laughs> it was like in your face. You just gotta the come goal's on, just right take, there, just take one walk step forward. Come on. The wind could blow you and you could just accidentally just, fall into that point. <laughs> you could trip. You could <laughs> trip and get over it, but I mean, they did. They tripped over their own feet and fell backwards away from the goalpost. I don't know. This was absolutely incredibly brutal look at this the first pick comes through as the hook connects on red fox threading the Ooh. needle the ice will not quite finish channeling that timing was nuts and this it's is the kind of timing crazy. that okay just as Naputo was able to get the timing right from that we did see previously on their own defense but when the timing is just slightly off the main wall just doesn't come up that's going to be a death and it only takes like one good Hulk hook combo. I get you, the other thing you have to remember is not a lot of teams, not every team is going to run Hog in that scenario. A lot of teams play for the Diva instead. Talent is something very uh, different today on Hollywood, just to play the Diva on the defense instead, mm -hmm. play the Road Hog on the offense instead. And both times, and, you know, maybe you'll say they would have won no matter what they did versus Nova here, but they made it look really good. They made it work with the composition that they had. They, they understood what they needed to do, how they needed to play. And it was just, um, it was just insane from start to finish. No other way to describe it. It's just nuts. I think actually that particular thing you highlight there with with the compositional decisions they made really kind of show Talon's capability right now as a team is like all of these picks are just tools for them. They're just tools that they can pull out of the toolbox, right? And they know exactly how to get the most out of anything in any given situation. It feels like there isn't necessarily like an optimal pick. So they have those options because there isn't one that you should definitely pick over the other. They can go, okay, if we choose to go this way, we know exactly how to make that work just as much as we know how to make the other option work as well. And like you said, it feels like they could have maybe even run the opposite there. They could have run the Diva on the offense and the Roadhog on the defense and still maximize the value you get from their kits in a way that their opponents aren't right now. And that on top of just the outright physical, um, sorry, individual skill and then slickness yeah. of the team play. Like you put this all together and you create like, it's like, uh, it's like Professor X, right? Like trying to make the perfect team. And then, I don't know, a bit of chemical X gets chucked in as he well. He does change his team quite a bit though, let's be fair. Yeah, it's a little bit different. <laughs> no, this no, team, no, however, no, has been amazing. This Professor team is- Utonium, I was thinking of I, Power Puff I Puff actually want to highlight the player, the player that I want to look at the most is actually Gagora because it, that's his position, right? The Diva yeah. Hog position, that's been his. He's, the he's had a fantastic performance on the Roadhog today. Fantastic performance on the Diva. When he's shown up, he's landed the hooks. He's been at the right place of the defensive matrixes. He's even had that play. Look, he, he, he ate the blizzard from Yon 1 as well. He's been effective all around on every single map and it's been a key contributor. It's not every day that you get to really put the congratulations 
and the credit on the tanks, but this time around we will, at least I will, as we say now goodbye to Nova and their season first time in about three seasons that do not reach the grand final. But Talon is expected to move on. Still king so far, looking for that next crown. Speaking of next, we do have another exciting semi-final coming up. It's going to be Fire Society getting their rematch versus Global Esports. You don't want to miss out on that. See you right after this break. <laughs>